Okay, so guys, you know what my frustration with my channel is normally that I, I don't have the money to buy all these products to review. So I'm thinking of testing out reviewing like food type products, if that makes sense. I am a huge Starbucks person. So today we are going to be testing out the hazelnut mocha coconut milk macchiato which confuses me because a mocha and a macchiato are two different things they're made differently but I think why they put the mocha in the title is because it has the mocha drizzle on the top so I'm in line in the drive-thru to get it now and I'm gonna try it out for you guys and we're gonna taste it I'm gonna review it and it's gonna be magical and that's that's just how it's gonna be and the coconut milk is supposed to make it healthier so that's a plus but I normally don't care about that I just like trying out anything new that Starbucks has so that's enough of that it's about my turn to go and pay so I will be back when I have the drink in my hand hey guys so I have the drink here and this is what it looks like and the top part the coffee is slowly mixing into the milk so I am eventually going to have to start driving to work here uh, but let's give you guys like an initial taste I feel like this is something that needs to be mixed up you can kind of see there's the mocha drizzle in the bottom oh I got a big sip of syrup, but this is delicious. I can tell you right now. Um, it's a really nice combination. It's a little bit milkier than I would normally get, but I think the hazelnut flavor makes up for that. I am not a milk person, which is weird because a lot of Starbucks drinks have a ton of milk in it. I get it, but I, I don't like the taste of milk by itself but I think that it adds nice flavors to other things like drinks. So I use milk, I just don't drink it by itself. Um, this is delicious though. It is a nice combination of hazelnut and chocolate mocha. Mm. I am getting sips of just the syrup <laughs> that's in the bottom. Um, and I got it iced, you can get it hot, just like all Starbucks drinks, you can either get it hot or iced. So I'm sure if I got it hot, it would have helped to melt the mocha drizzle a little bit. Um, so that texture is a little bit weird, but like I'm not hating it either. So those are my initial thoughts. I am going to drive to work. I'm gonna sip on this on the way and It'll probably be almost gone by the time I get to work. So if that is the case, which it probably will be, I will jump back on and I'll give you my final thoughts. Do I still think it's good after drinking the whole drink? Because thoughts can change when you get to the bottom of the drink. They do. Oh, hey guys, so I finally made it to work. And I have to say that I think that this is delicious and I'm definitely going to get it again. I didn't finish all of it but definitely worth it uh you will not like it if you don't like hazelnut that's for sure um i could definitely taste the mocha in there i think that they did a really good job at capturing all the flavors that are actually in the title it is a mouthful to say hazelnut mocha coconut milk macchiato it's a lot the girl when she read it back to me just couldn't help but laugh because you can't say it without having to think about it so this is a yes. I really want to try it as a hot drink. I think it would be good as a hot drink as well. So there's one more thing I want to talk about before we head out. So this is not a first impression for me. This is something I've gotten several times, but it is newer to Starbucks. And I think I want to say they've had it for at least a month. So it's not like new, new, but it's 100% worth talking about. I'm not one who's always crazy about Starbucks food. I think sometimes they could taste a little fake. I know if you've had Starbucks food before, you know what I mean. 
this their pastries are delicious let's just start by saying that their butter croissants are so croissanty <laughs> what does that even mean uh, i hope that you know what that means because i don't think it's flaky and buttery and it's just a good pastry they have recently come out with an everything croissant and it's like an everything bagel basically uh the same, you know, seasonings, spices, whatever's on there for an everything bagel is on the everything croissant. And let me tell you, I'm addicted to them. I get it like twice a week. It's so sad. I need to cut carbs out of my diet and it's just like, I can't do that with this. Um, so if you guys like everything bagels, if you like croissants, you're going to love this. This is probably one of my favorite pastries that Starbucks has come out with ever they offered it to me like the first couple days it came out they're like oh do you want to try one of our new everything croissants I was like sure no problem but I didn't think I was gonna fall in love with it I got it every day that week <laughs> and then the next week I went back and I was like can I get the everything croissant and they were like well we didn't order that many we're all out so I'm pretty sure I sold out the Starbucks of their everything croissants so that's another thing i wanted to mention it is amazing okay guys so that is it thank you for watching my first like food type review ish thing i really appreciate you all watching you can follow me on my social media channels i have instagram snapchat and twitter and as always that information is in the description box below please like this video it makes me happy and all that fun stuff and subscribe to my channel I also do things with like makeup unboxings but again sometimes you can't afford to buy all the makeup in the world so I'm gonna start throwing in some reviews of things I can't afford like drinks and food and I enjoy watching those on YouTube so I, I think that's something I want to get into more so tell me how you guys feel about it are there any new foods coming out on like chain restaurants fast food places you want to see me try um, and that's it I appreciate everybody so much for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful day.